getting to where you're at today, mm -hmm. there's been people in your life that have helped you get there or have boarded you or have praised you. It takes 60 seconds yeah. and to think about those people. person I thought of is my dad. Um, yeah. Without any hesitation, my father. And the first person that came to mind uh, was my youth pastor growing up. The first one uh, was our pastor of uh, Young Marys and College and Career Group. It would be our women's pastor. Sorry, a little emotional. I was 24 years of age when I lost my father. There's not a day, I don't think, that goes past without wishing that I could just sit down and have a cup of coffee with him. He introduced me to, to Christ. She was the first one to really tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, I see something in you. I want you a part of my leadership team. I just feel really known by him. And I think that is what is key in being praised and being coached and being uh, led forward through something is when you are known by the person who's doing that. I was kind of that rambunctious kid that you don't necessarily, not you should want in your youth ministry, but not everyone wants in their youth ministry. Um, and, uh, and a guy named Vince Flumiani, I think for him to, um, to take the time to slow down and speak to me in a way that was firm, yet, yet he saw me. Was, was incredibly powerful. He gave us as, as much as we could handle and then stretch us a little bit. And then he could see things in both my wife and myself that I don't think we saw in ourselves. She really catapulted me into a different um, walk with Jesus and um, a different career path. Or hearing truth from, from someone who does know me has meant the world. He, he would drop little things like, you know, at some point, um, I think you can do more or I think that you will do more. Those kind of things uh, encouraged us and kind of guided us. The impact that one human being can have on another human being, it can energize a person for the rest of their days and, and not only energize them individually, but they can pass on what they received, like what I received from my dad. I think improv leadership is gonna give me the tools to be able to draw out things that we may not be able to see um, that are surface level. I think it's really easy today in how um, quickly time moves, how busy we are to just kind of skip through stuff, but those questions get below the layers of uh, everything going on to know the, the real person inside and then lead from there and coach from there. Most all the people that, that I work with are, are volunteers that, that lead life groups at our church, but I think if I get to know them and their heart and their passion uh, in a deeper way, I think I'd be able to help kind of guide them and move them into the place where they can really thrive. I think that's a big plus that I see coming from this. Being able to ask the right questions, to draw out the story in someone's life, to really discern the gifts that they have um, and their potential, I think that's what we're called to do as leaders.